Okay, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Julian, and I'm talking to you about the scheduling infrastructure in the circuit project, which is an effort that I spearhead together with Mike Erbeck and John Demi, and uh, we are part of uh, the larger circuit community. Um, unfortunately, I don't have much time to talk about circuit in general here, but let me just say that we are the MLIR-based uh, compiler infrastructure uh, aiming to improve hardware design and verification. We are an LLVM incubator project, and we had two great talks uh, at the last US developer meeting, uh, which I uh, recommend that you check out if you're interested, or just talk to me or Chris uh, here at the conference. For now, let me just say that Circuit is this beautiful mess of uh, interconnected uh, dialects and tools, and for this talk in particular, we are talking about uh, the scheduling module. So I assume most of you don't deal with hardware compilers on a daily basis, so let me just give you one tangible example of uh, what scheduling in this context uh, is about. And we, we hardware people, we do a thing called high-level synthesis, where we take, um, yeah, let's say, software. I have an uh, FIN loop here, which computes a dot product, and let's say we want to uh, build an accelerator for that. So okay, uh, easy thing, we take, it, we take a chip, and uh, put some hardware modules on it, wire them up, and then we are good to go. Not really, because there's one important difference between the two words. The, um, in the software world, we have this um, uh, assumption that the program just executes sequentially, and that's not the case in hardware. Everything is parallel, and everything is always running. So uh, to mitigate that, we need to um, deal with time, and one way to do that would be, for example, to add extra hardware, like a controller circuit, uh, and um, make sure that uh, our uh, computation is pipelined and executed in a way that correct results are computed. And this is where scheduling comes in handy, because uh, what we want to do is to figure out when to start each hardware module, and as, as this is a pipeline computation, we want to also figure out uh, how often we can insert new data into this pipeline. Okay, but why does circuit need a scheduling infrastructure? Well, um, hardware is mostly uh, described in what's called a register transfer level description. This is basically what we've seen on, on the uh, previous slide on the, uh, on the right side. And um, there you deal ex uh, with explicit hardware, but that's hard to transform because the progression of time, as I just showed, is actually built into the, the structure of the design. So circuit with a goal to raise the uh, extraction level of hardware designs to uh, the current century um, needs to, to, to raise the uh, um, abstraction level of, of hardware uh, design to do that. But uh, suitable higher level intermediate representations are often untimed. Um, we are, for example, dealing with graphs or uh, loops, as I just uh, showed, and these are easy to transform uh, and good for design space exploration. But at some point, we have to get back to this RTL level, and uh, there are several ways to do that, but one way uh, would then be to schedule the computation and uh, to synthesize controller hardware. Okay. Um, so the goals for this infrastructure is that we don't uh, want to force anyone to one specific scheduling problem. This whole infrastructure should be as flexible as circuit itself because uh, we envision that um, our community is coming up with new ways for this hardware synthesis problems and we want to support that. Uh, in terms of audience, we would like to cater to two groups. Uh, people that find scheduling boring but just want to use the scheduler uh, in their hardware compiler. And the other group would be people that find scheduling exciting and want to innovate in the algorithms and we want to provide a good interface for them. And uh, also we want to bring these two uh, groups of people together to communicate and have a, co a common terminology uh, to, to work together. So let me walk you to one example scheduling problem uh, in our infrastructure. So this is again the uh, dot product affine loop that I showed earlier. And we are talking here about components, properties, and constraints. The components um, are the operations, which are just the MLIR operations. We have dependencies, which uh, represent here the value flow uh, of the computation and operator types, which represent the hardware we are going to schedule the computation to. 
and um, the properties can now be um, attached to these components. And for example, here, the operator types have a latency and we link the operations to a specific operator type. Uh, important concept here is that we have constraints for, for these input properties where we check that everything is present and valid and we can now invoke a scheduler and get solution properties. In this case, start times uh, for the individual operations and of course, these we also want to check and have uh, constraints <coughs> for the solution. Okay, um, the insight now is that um, <coughs> different flows, <coughs> excuse me, um, these um, <coughs> properties and constraints together, oh sorry, I'm going to get some water. <laughs> <clears throat> ah, that's better. Sorry again. So um, the insight here is now that uh, these different problem models all have the same components, but we can exchange the properties and the constraints. And grouping these together, this gives a really reliable contract between the client and the algorithms. In the infrastructure, <clears throat> we currently have five problems defined. Uh, uh, as I just showed, the cyclic problem, but also simple resource constraint scheduling problems um, are, are already available. And the idea here is that you uh, don't stop at these predefined problems, but you can mix and match uh, these problem definitions to define uh, your own problems in, uh, by adding properties or refining the constraints. In terms of schedulers, our current goal is to be just good enough to bootstrap prototype flows with them. So we have an uh, entry Simplex server to, oh, so sorry. <clears throat> we have an entry Simplex server for the five problems I just showed and API demos to, <clears throat> uh, to use an ILP server and uh, list scheduler. And while my personal background is in linear programming, um, the infrastructure is not fixed to that. So anything that computes solution properties that then, um, work with the solution constraints uh, are okay in, in this infrastructure. Okay, um, yeah, to, uh, to wrap that up, our current status, we have, as I said, the um, five problem models and the reference schedulers for that. Um, we have uh, two clients currently under development. One is an end-to-end -end flow uh, from C or PyTorch, also, so ML models, down to system Verilog, and this is developed um, as part of the Circuit HLS project, which is um, uh, out of free from Circuit, but closely related. And there's also one use case inside of Microsoft uh, where we are uh, trying to retime irregularly placed historic arrays. Our future plans would be just to get uh, this infrastructure into more flows and to evolve the inf infrastructure uh, as needed. Um, we are going to uh, design a dialect uh, to serve as an import export mechanism for scheduling problems, so for benchmarking or Python bindings. Um, of course, when there's time, we are, we are going to look into porting state of the art algorithms uh, to circuit. And uh, yeah, well, the, the open question also for this conference is um, can, we, can we share code with sibling projects or um, upstream MLIR or LAVM so that uh, we don't duplicate? efforts here because, um, yeah, other parts of LVM also schedule stuff uh, as we have um, already seen uh, at the conference. So it would be great to get a discussion going where we can collaborate. And yeah, basically that's it. Uh, thanks for listening. And if you're interested in, in circuit, uh, again, talk to me or join uh, our open design meetings uh, yeah, just to get the discussion going. Thanks.